Hello and welcome to an Empower Service tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set a custom resource pack on your server. So first things first, you've got to find a resource pack that you want. Now, once you've found the resource pack that you want, you're going to have to download it and you can save the pack anywhere on your computer as long as you can find it later. Now we're going to re-upload the resource pack. And the reason that we're doing this is so you can get a direct download link for the pack. This is required by Minecraft to set a custom resource pack. And the easiest way to do this is using a popular website Mediafire. So once you're on Mediafire.com, press upload files now and then press upload files here. And now we want to drag and drop our texture pack and upload it. And as you can see, the resource pack should be pretty quick to upload. And there it is. Now we want to press on these three dots here, press copy link and then go to that link. So you should see something like this on your page. And then you want to right click on the download button, press copy link address. And now you have the direct download link for this texture pack. Now head to control.empowerservers.com, click on your server, click on management, file manager, scroll down till you find the server.properties and then find the line that says resource pack equals. And you want to paste the link that you've just copied. So I'm going to do that here and then press save. Now there are a couple other settings you can mess around with when you have a resource pack and that is require resource pack. This means that if a user does not download the resource pack, it will kick them out the server. In my case, I'm going to make this true. The resource pack prompt setting allows you to put a message that appears on the prompt to download the resource pack. This would be an example of what that looks like in game. So basically in the section where it says hello, you could put you must download this resource pack to play on the server or any other message you want. And you don't have to worry about resource pack SHA1. This is quite an advanced feature and you won't be using it. However, if you would like to use this feature, I suggest you do some research on your own as this is quite an advanced feature. So once we've saved our server or properties, we want to head over to the console and we want to restart the server so the changes can take effect. And up here, this warning in the console, don't worry about that, you can ignore it. Now I'm going to log onto the server and show you how the resource pack works in game. Now, once you're on Minecraft, I'm going to connect to my server. And as you can see there, as soon as I connected, it started to download the resource pack and it's quite obviously working. We can see our x-ray pack in full force. Now, obviously yours is going to look totally different to mine and will probably be a nice and fancy resource pack. So that is how to set a custom resource pack on your Minecraft server. Thank you very much for watching. If you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.